Well, welcome back to the channel. What I want to do today is kind of introduce you to my new uh, toy I got on, on my dash of my boat. Um, and that's going to be the Garmin UHD 93SV. Anyway, there she is. She got went to 154 Marine. They, uh, they got it all on for me. I got that Decket mount right there. So pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy uh, bracket. So anyway, so my plan is if, if, if I really like this unit, which I think I will for side imaging, down imaging, uh, mapping, I'll probably end up getting another one and run two nine inch screens uh, side by side. Just, you know, dedicate one for mapping. And I'm, I've got my live scope 93 SV up, up front there. So I will have these two linked together. So anyway, that's the plan. I'm going to run that this year and see what happens. So anyway, I want to show you my crappie setups for this season. We're in the Skeeter. I'm trying to get this thing organized for the uh, bass tournament season. Uh, coming up in two weeks on Lake of the Ozarks. And I'm also trying to get all my crappie gear going. So, because crappie fish as well. So anyway, what I want to do today, I just want to go over some of the equipment I use uh, here on Mark Twain Lake. Well, when them crappie get on the bank this year, I'm going to go with this uh, seven foot crappie max. You can see that seven foot crappie max uh, ultralight rod. I think it's a uh, moderate action. So uh, I think it's going to be perfect. You know, when they get up on that bank, it's a seven foot rod. It's easy to handle. I can flip that cork and that jig right up on the bank, jig her back a little bit, hopefully get bit. So anyway. I got this right now paired up with this C Force 3000 from Ardent Reel. It's a carbon fiber reel, um, carbon fiber handle. Uh, the gear ratio is 5 2 to 1 with 9 plus 1 ball bearing system in this reel. So uh, you can you can loosen or tighten the drag right here on the on the front of it, which is great. Um, so that's going to be my uh, corking setup this spring. So I can't wait to. Uh, try this but anyway that's my corking setup anyway i want to go over one of my uh, setups for uh dipping trees single pulling whatever you want to call it this is a nine foot uh tony edgar ozark rod that i got shoot i probably had this rod for probably since 2009 or 10 and i got the uh ardent finesse 2000 size reel on it six zero to one gear ratio and i've got this paired up with uh six pound crappie max high vis line i use six pound a lot so uh and then so anyway that's one of my uh, setups there mother setup 1000 size crappie kings reel uh, which they don't make anymore and this 10 foot crappie kings rod which they don't make anymore but this 10 foot rod here i love it i cork with it I dip trees with it. I just wish they them. they still made them, but they don't. But uh, at least I have one one with me, so I'll use it until it breaks. So and I've had it for a couple of years now, and it's it's did great. So anyway, that's one of my other setups. And I got it on that six pound Crappie Max High Vis line as well. Now I've got this other Crappie Kings one thousand size reel on this another Ozark Tony Edgar rod from that I bought years ago uh, it's a nine footer I love that nine to ten foot range I don't like anything longer than that and that's just my personal opinion um, and I've actually got this reel paired up with spider wire invisi braid a 20 pound test line uh, and it's got six pound diameter so I've seen a lot of guys use it on you know other YouTube channels and, and on video, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So the whole idea behind this is, you know, when you're dipping these trees here at Mark Twain Lake or, or, or Truman Lake or anywhere where there's, where there's pole timber, um, I want to be able to get them fish off that tree into the boat. So it's, you know, it's a single pole application in my opinion. Drop that jig down get bit yank them up put them in the boat there's no it's it's uh there's no 
if ands, buts about it, they're going in the boat. So, you know, that braid, there's not going to be much stretch. And uh, I haven't tried it yet. But, uh, but anyway, I'm going to give it a shot this year. So, well, I hope you kind of like this little video. It's short and sweet. So, uh, I'm going to put out a all my bass equipment. I'll probably put that video out here later this week. Uh, so still cold, snowy here in uh, Missouri. There's ice on Mark Twain Lake or I'd have been out fishing today. So anyway, I'm gonna get everything organized, ready to rock and roll. Anyway, thanks for watching Strike 3 Fishing. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, share this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, later.